All right, guys, today I'm going to be showing you um, a little bit of a different type of video. This is going to be basically a screenshot the whole time, but it is going to be all about the MLB Ballpark app. If you're not using this app, you definitely should be, especially those of you who don't like printing off the paper tickets and having to lug those to the stadium, afraid of them getting lost, things of that nature. Um, this is kind of a great way to get your tickets. Also, for our season ticket holders, you do have to pay extra for our actual like paper tickets if we want those sent to us, and it is you know quite a bit of money extra. I believe mine they quoted me was around $200. So this app will actually, um, once they scan it, will give you a printout ticket and I'll show you a photo of what that looks like. I like to save all mine and hang them in my office because I'm weird, but that's what I like to do with them. Um, so this will be your home screen. Again, you can choose any team if you're not a Tribe fan, that's too bad for you, but um, if you <laughs> are not, you can also go up here and change out your team. Or if you're going to see the Tribe in another stadium, you can click on any of these. It shows you the distance it is to get to these parks from where you're located. So your main um, screen here is going to have any active tickets you have today. Obviously, there's nothing going on today, January 19th. But if you did have an event going on, including Tribe Fest or any other special events, your tickets could be found in here. This links up with your MLB um, account sign-in. So those of you who have season tickets, you can link it up right to that. You can manage your season tickets. Um, you can also go here to my cards and pull up your season ticket holder account number. This is kind of an ID card that you can show everyone when you go to um, check out at the team shop to make sure you get your discount. Um, it also just kind of has how long you've been a member. These little black dots on here scrolling around shows that this is an active um, app that you're using. It's not just a screenshot so nobody can kind of steal your identity. Speaking of, that's why I have my account number blocked out. Sorry guys. Um, again, any tickets you have will be in here. The main part of the app is going to be when you click on ballpark and again you can change whatever field you're at if you're, you know, I went to a uh, Great American Ballpark last year so I was able to switch that. When you get to the park you are, after you scan in your ticket, you're going to want to check in. And when you click check in, you'll have an option to put in the information from your ticket, you know, your row, your seat number, your section, all of that. I like to do that because I like to kind of check out all the different places I've sat. It does keep a record of that for you, so I will show you guys that. Um, they have anything going on today at Progressive Field. I'm assuming there's nothing going on today because there is no game. But if there's any special events, it'll have all of the uh, information here for you. You kind of select what you want to see, weather... We'll just get with that. Maybe they'll have it. Maybe not, since it's not really going on. I haven't really tried it in the off season yet. Um, it does not seem to have the weather, but that is a good thing. You know, I always tell you guys, please check the weather before you go because it's going to be a huge, huge difference in temperature. I mean, I live in central Ohio and it's just insane. Um, you can take photos. Uh, it'll also let you do that when you check in so you don't really have to worry about that. You can see the baseball schedule. Um, again, that's not active on here yet. You can go to ballpark, map, and directory. So let's say uh, it's like a third inning. You want some nachos. You can go here and search what you want. So you want to go to food. Here's all your different food options. If you want to see, uh, let's see, beverage, it'll put your beverage overlay here. Let's go back to food because there is a neat option here. Okay, right here, hometown sausages. If you click on that, it will tell you exactly where it's located. You can also click on menu and it'll show you everything they serve. Now, it doesn't have prices because they can change year to year usually. It's probably going to be higher this year, honestly, with the All-Star game coming. And I know after we uh, went to playoffs in the World Series in 2016, they did kind of up the price of things. But let's say you're looking for a specific beer or, um, you know, food item that you want. You can go on here and find that, and it shows you exactly where it's located. Sausages and dogs, ballpark classics, pierogi dogs. Uh, let's find Barrio here. You can zoom in. I believe Barrio is around this area. There it is. It's my favorite restaurant that they have. There's actually one right across the street from the stadium. Here's your menu. So here's everything that they offer. Again, no prices on there, but say your kid wants candy, you want some nachos, this is probably going to be where you want to go. And you can also see how close it is to your section. Now, another thing on here, they have these steps shown. They have drinking fountains. These are elevators, escalator shown, ramp, so it makes it kind of nice. Okay, let's say you're sitting on the upper concourse. You can see all of the options they have up there for you. 
let's say instead, oh, you got to pee. So let's go ahead and see where they have bathrooms located. They have them every couple of sections. These are family bathrooms, which is kind of helpful. Any kind of specialty things, they have merchandise. Let's say you want to buy some stuff and you're sitting in section 558 so you can see the closest merchandise items to you. Let's go back down to that main concourse level. Here are your shops again, the little shopping carts, new era store that has, oops, sorry about that. Click on that. Just shows you the location, 103, that's the section I used to sit in. Um, you can also search, so let's say you want some ice cream and you're not sure the closest one and you don't want to dig through all of those um, little logos there, so you can kind of click. It shows you exactly what sections they are located. All right, let's see something else that will be important here. ATM, you can see here where you can buy a ticket. So the charging station is important if you have any questions. Ballpark attractions, so that's going to have your little um, Heritage Park that kind of has all the information about it. You can kind of see what they have to offer there. If you go to the game early, it's super fun to go look, especially if you have kids, man. there's It's hard to get kids into baseball these, uh, these days because, you know, there's so much other stuff going on corner bar so that's a semi new feature a lot of you guys know about the corner bar it's actually two stories and um, for those cold games they do have little fire pits you can sit around but they do fill up fast so make sure you're getting there you can also see their menu <laughs> apparently they don't have it loaded <laughs> anyways so that's kind of the basis of that feature on the app. Um, you can go on here and get your $15 district tickets, ask fan services. If you have a question or, you know, somebody's just blocking your view, that happened to me once, you can just send them a message and they'll go ahead and respond to you or they'll get somebody out there to look. So, you know, someone's blocking my view, can't see, I'm in section, blah, blah, blah. They'll send somebody over to take care of it for you. If you need police or medical services, here is how you contact them. So that makes it kind of nice. It does get hot in the summertime. Maybe you faint, maybe, you know, you cut yourself on something. Who knows? Who knows if we could have any hit with the ball? Usually they're pretty aware of that. Live chats. Um, the hot dog derby that they do in the fifth inning. You can always go on here and vote for your favorite hot dog. Who you think is going to win the Sugardale hot dog derby. So it's just a fun little thing to take place in. Um, when you do check out on here, I'm sorry, when you do check in on here, you can go and pick up your featured item. It is over near the right field gate. There's a little table. It will tell you exactly where to go for that once this is loaded. You also unlock, unlock certain features. Um, they usually have sunglasses. I've got um, a shaker bottle that was pretty neat. They have some Indians trivia if you're waiting in here to you know, trying to pass the time. There's a rain delay. You want to see what's going on. You can go ahead and play Indians trivia. You don't want anything. 15 seconds of fame. So let's say you're on the big screen and you uh, want to record it. So you can click on there, download the app of 15 seconds of fame. It takes a photo of your face and it will record when you are on the big screen. 2019 schedule. We're actually able to see that. It should say in here that you can also purchase tickets or if you uh, want to send some some uh, tickets to someone else. I have a buddy that I also forward tickets to especially because usually I meet him up there since he still lives in Cleveland so this is helpful for that. Here's a list of all the times where it's listed on TV, radio, all that good stuff. Promotions they haven't released yet but once they do that will also be on here. And there'll be auctions, gets me in trouble. Alright so the favorite part for me of this app is going to the journal. Like I said, when you come in, you will check in and uh, put in your seat number and section and all that good stuff, and it actually records it for you. So the most recent thing I went to here is Tribe Fest. I did not put any photos on there. I keep hitting that button. Let's see. Okay, so here's playoff game. I was sitting in section 434, row F, seat 4. It tells you the score of the game. You can click on it and go into event detail. View game wrap is a great option on here. So you can actually see like a mini highlight reel of what happened in the game that you visited. You can see all the highlights. You can see who scored, who won, every little thing, the weather, everything is saved in here. So you, it's kind of like a little, I guess it's appropriately called journal. Um, here are some of the past interviews after the game. You can see a condensed version of the game. It just makes it kind of special. 
again, it'll document your photos you take. That was a great view. I had that game. And we also smoked the Tigers 15 to nothing, clinched the AL pennant. Here we go with the Jim Tomey game. Then when they inducted him into the Hall of Fame, I took some great photos there. Um, I personally really like this. <laughs> there's Ben and I. I personally really like this because I do have a little pin board where I put, there's me and my mom, where I put in little pins of everywhere I've sat in the stadium. Eventually, I would like to kind of have sat in every seat. There's me and my girls. I take them every year to Cleveland. We have a good time with that. So it's just kind of neat. Um, I really like the journal feature on here. You can see every team that you've watched, but this will include um, teams that you've gone to see at other stadiums. So I've been to two ballparks. I've been to Great American Ballpark twice. Um, I've had the uh, ballpark app for 36 games for the Indians, but on here again, it also tells you the record that we are against them. So that makes it kind of nice. Just kind of interesting. They're 500 when I see them. So I don't know if I'm good luck, bad luck, who knows. You can also just click on photos and it'll show you any photo that you've taken for any of the games. This was a great day when my mom got to meet Jason Kipnis. She shed a couple tears, so it was definitely a good time. Here was the greatest day of my life. That will be a whole separate video. Got my photo taken with that handsome man. Anyways, guys, like I said, this is a fantastic app to use. 100% free. You do get free items. I showed you all of my favorite features. Here is everything that I have unlocked. So you do get to keep on 50% off of New Era hat. That's from September. 50% uh, off appetizers at a restaurant. Uh, when I went to Cincinnati, I unlocked a ton of features like $5 off a haircut, you know, money off of an ice cream cone while I'm at the game. They have all kinds of good deals. So make sure you definitely utilize this app, guys. I think that's about all I have to show you. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you'll take it with you into the 2019 season. It really makes it easy to get to the games. The only thing I will say is make sure you have some data. There is Wi-Fi at the stadium, but sometimes it can be a little laggy. Having these digital tickets will definitely get you into the ballpark a little faster. There is a separate line for that. Season ticket holders, you guys know that you can go in the first gate and it is uh, exclusively for you guys. But you know when there are giveaways and stuff. It does uh, make it go pretty quick. Hopefully you got something out of this. Um, hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about it, maybe you didn't know about it. But ever since I've downloaded this app, things have been so much easier for me. You can also buy tickets on here. So let's say you're at a game. It's a Saturday night. You're like, you know what? Let's just stay the night. Go to a Sunday game. You can just pick up tickets right in the app. Saves them in the app for you. And again, you do get that printed off ticket to display. So thanks for watching, guys. And I hope you enjoyed it.